Welcome to curl 7.83.1 May 11. Uh, <clears throat> so I am of course Daniel, I am the lead developer of curl. I work for Wolf SSL. <clears throat> I did the release today. I'm going to do the regular set of things in my little presentation, but as this was a shorter release or cycle than previously or than regularly, there's going to be a little less to say about this release, maybe. Let's dive into this. This is the release 208 since the very first, and <clears throat> this time around, um, a lot of people have helped out, of course. There are only 14 days since the previous release, but 20 contributors and 13 authors helped make this release. As I said, we're only 14 days since the previous release due to some of... When we did the previous release, we got some immediate and very quick security problems reported only hours with days after the release. So we decided pretty quick to just let's make a follow up patch release to address these problems sooner rather than later. So we're at uh, 8800 days since we started this journey. And I want to start out, I'm, I'm going to talk, talk to you now and show you a bunch of security advisories, six of them actually, which is, not, it's not a record amount, but it's certainly a record amount in modern times. So it's been a long time since we had this many security problems to mention in one single release and one single short cycle release, that is too. So, but I want to emphasize that if, if you look at the URL in the bottom here, that's where you go if you want to read up about all the details about these CVs you will learn and notice that if you go and, and Google for those CVE numbers later, you will not come to the curl website primarily. You will go to somewhere else and they will have much less and much, uh, much less info and, and worse data and information about the flaws. <clears throat> so let's uh, dig into this. The first problem, curl removes wrong file on error. This sounds pretty stupid and it is. Um, basically this is a uh, just a logical error when you and this this problem is actually was introduced in the previous release so you haven't had a chance to actually experience this for very long since it's been 14 days since we introduced this in a release. <clears throat> but if you use both of these options remove on error and the no clobber option and you happen to you know, you have a file that you don't want to clobber, that's why you use the no clobber, but the new file uh, download transfers errors, so it's supposed to remove the file on error. Curl would remove the wrong file, which happened to be the one you ac explicitly ask for to not clobber. So, <clears throat> pretty, I, mean, I don't know, it's not super bad, but it's uh, definitely wrong. And luckily, not a lot of you have had the opportunity to get, and get hurt by this. And now we fixed it. <coughs> Harry Sinton and found it. <coughs> Let's go further. Oh, and uh, of course, sorry. Um, um, that's the CVE 27778, uh, if you look at it um, on 2022. Um, and the the next one, of course, uh, and here's here's a, a, it's a long one. So cookie for trailing dot tld, uh, and this is the CVE twenty seven 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 nine. And Axel Schong, I don't know exactly how he pronounces his name. I, I'm ho hoping he he will excuse my ignorance. But um, basically, it's you know when when a server sets a cookie, it can set the cookie for a particular domain, and in this case you can the server could set the cookie for a for just a tld if you ended that tld with a trailing dot um, and because then curl wouldn't uh, and curl wouldn't treat that as a tld it would think of it as a normal domain because it found a dot in it and there are some caveats and preconditions for this to happen so in a normal build you would have PSL support, the public suffix list uh, support, and then you cannot, uh, then you won't be vulnerable to this problem. Uh, and also this, um, right, uh, so 
you and, and typically a server doesn't do this so it would be had have would have to be a really malicious server who would know basically that you're using curl to do this because a, a normal browser a normal http client will reject such cookies because you, you're not allowed to set a cookie on, on such domains um percent okay i'm uh, moving on and uh, the cve 22 27780 also actually shown again percent encoded path separator in url host so if you use curl to parse a url possibly to you know check the url is this uh, which host is it using is it okay can we do can we use this url or you know filtering the url somehow and if you if you would enter a path sep basically the path you know the path uh, ascii code uh, percent to e if you would use that in the host field in the url curl would decode that as to a slash when decoding the url and when you would re-encode that url it would enter the slash so you would trick curl into believing it was a different host name than you and blah 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 so you could basically fool the url parser uh, and you could possibly use that to to avoid filtering or, and checks and stuff like that that's the third issue that second axel found and let's get into a, a busy loop thing so curl has this function actually libcurl has because this is functionality not exposed in the command line tool the, called cert info you can ask curl for certificate information so or you ask libcurl so you you write a, uh, an application you want to ask libcurl to provide a lot of data or a lot of information about this server's certificate chain really a whole set of certificates possibly and if you would do this with libcurl built to use nss as for tls nss being a tls library not commonly used but there are users of it of course um, and if you would ask if you would do that such an application and you would ask for nss info with this particular build of libcurl a malicious server could return a carefully crafted certificate chain and and cause curl to end up in a never-ending busy loop just trying to get to the end of that certificate chain uh, so of course that that would be a sort of a denial of service attack on the client from from a malicious server florian kornhäuser found that the fifth security problem this time around uh, harry sintonen again he found a set of different set of options config items you can set for a particular request you can ask for uh, for those conditions to be set to do when you use do the transfer oops and you can see here that i pasted the wrong explanation okay but listen to me instead of reading um so if you there were a set of you can set a different ssl options and some ssh options that even if you set them for this particular option it could reuse an existing previous connection that didn't have those options set so uh, b so using that flaw you could then even though you asked for particular configurations to be true for that transfer they wouldn't because it would reuse an, an older connection for which those uh, properties were not set anyway read up on, on in the cve all those options are listed there in detail and explain them um, and a, probably a better explanation than i did here right now <clears throat> connection reuse is certainly one of the areas where we had have had a lot of security problems in the past okay the final security problem for this time around hsts bypass via trailing dot again a trailing dot the second one the second trailing dot thing for this release Ax axel shown again then um so hsts is the way you know how a server basically an, an hps server says do do not go when you want to contact this host name again contact me over https and never with http again so to avoid going through clear text uh, 
redirects or bouncing over a clear text protocol to help basically secure the site, secure the transfers. And if you would do, curl supports this, and if you would do this, curl will then go to the HTTPS site going forward for as long as this information is valid. It's actually a timeout on it, so it could, it will end in the future if, if the server doesn't update it. But you could trick curl to circumvent this check by adding a dot to the host name again to the i mean at the end of the host name the trailing dot this is a flaw that we introduced in 7.82.0 when we modified the handling of the trailing dot in curl so this is uh, possibly not such a very very serious one but still a security problem could be since you would make curl go back could possibly make curl go back over a clear text protocol when it shouldn't Ooh, that's the sixth one for this time <clears throat> so those are really the sort of the main reasons why we did this release but of course we had a few other things too there will be rewards for these issues i'm sure Due to our new process, the rewards are being ha are handed out slightly delayed from our actual publication of them, so I cannot tell you about them uh, right now. The last release, when we had medium severity reports, they the reporters got twenty four hundred dollars each for those two uh, medium uh, severity reports. I'm guessing the new ones might end up in the same ballpark, same number basically so no new stuff in this release we're releasing a patch release so we're only fixing problems here um, we have collected uh, still an impressive number of fixes here 41 of them um, <clears throat> so i'll mention this so we those six security issues they were really the, the biggest bug fixes and of course the, the main ones for the main reasons for, for this release but let me just mention four other we did just you know to keep me blabbing uh, so for example we now <laughs> that's not correct wait wait this wait a small second here See, that's that's the slide I wanted to show you. Uh, okay, now I just need to do it like this. No. Okay, pretend you didn't see that. And uh, here we're looking at, yes, there it is. So someone just ran into an annoying undefined behavior sanitizer warning in the URL API parser. Um, we fixed that. It was actually harmless and I would say mostly false positive. But the, the undefined behavior warning could be a bit silly when wrapping integers that we don't care about actual wrapping, but it warns about it because the wrapping itself could be undefined. Um, but in an effort to, to you know to not warn for silly things and, and to make sure that we address all warnings we we sometimes need to fix even those harmless silly ones to make sure that once you actually get the warnings they are warranted or something to actually care about uh, the gs kit tls backend ended up <laughs> having a lot of bogus set sock opt calls which was interesting since they've been there for a long time and nobody has reacted on it possibly of course because gs kit is a, probably the one of the absolutely least used TLS backends since it's a very niche specific for OS 400, I think. So I guess that's part of the explanation. Also possibly that the work you're on, so sort of it worked even though those sec sets of opt opt calls failed. We now can also set the elliptic curves even when you build with a Libre SSL as a TLS backend, which was just the bad set of if-defs and we can do 
back to cert info the feature i talked about earlier if you use cert info you can get uh, certificate information from libcurl and for some of the backends we use our some of the tls backends we have our own uh, x509 asn1 parser and it now handles uh, elliptic curve public keys properly which it didn't before either so for some of the tls backends we now properly return that info the way we want it to so the next release is likely to become 7.84.0 i said that the last time as well but um, I'm, I'm hoping it'll happen <laughs> for real this time uh, so <clears throat> some of those things that we are pending working on there will be hdf HTTP3 fixes. We have this long standing stream window size PR session ID cache. There will be more hyper improvements. We're down to, I believe, 13 disabled tests for hyper. So we're, we're getting closer to getting hyper as a, as a full fledged backend. I have a, a PR for dash dash rate option to limit request rate. If you ask curl to do a number of your uh, transfer a number of urls you can ask for it to do it slow enough import export SL, ssl session ids possibly this uh, follow no custom method I'm, I'm sort of debating this with myself if we really should make it or or not make it or land it it's um it's that way that Ah, let's not get into that. You read up uh, in the PR if you're interested. So <clears throat> I've readjusted the release schedule for the following releases. So we're starting a new eight week cycle today. So that means that on July 6, we release 7.84.0 if nothing else happens. And you know, unless I'm getting another panic because of all the problems people will report within the next few days. That's this is the new plan at least. So I've actually adjusted all the future release dates now <clears throat> and set up so you can find them in, in the release procedure documentation or in the there's a Google calendar too if you want to keep up with the release schedule uh, fully. There's also this URL on in which on which you can see the pending release notes for the coming release. All of this of course leading up to the planned version 8 release that will should uh, or is, is destined to happen on March 20, 2023, which happens to be Carl's 25th birth, birthday. So if we stick to this and if we stick to eight week release cycles, uh, crossing my fingers, uh, then that means that we will have five more releases uh, using version seven before we go to version eight. Uh, yeah, we might then, I think, reach 7.88 by February next year. Who knows? Could be fun. Could be reason for cake. Who knows? If you want to help, get help for your commercial use or for whatever use you have of curl, and get in touch. That's uh, what I do for a living now. That's how I manage to work on curl full time. <clears throat> if you find any problems, you know, issues, even typos, misunderstandings or confusions in the documentations things doesn't work don't work the way you want them to file an issue if you have a security problem you suspect a security problem uh, file that on hacker one we keep them under wraps and non-disclosed until we have verified them and you know can announce a fix in in uh, association with the publication of the problem these are our fine sponsors uh, in this May 2022. They're all great companies and thanks to those we can do things um, much better in the project. <clears throat> That's it. You go to curl.se of course for everything curl um, and that is what I wanted to say this time around. See you hopefully in eight weeks. Bye.